And that, my friends, is one gloriously spotty butt. I like this horse. I really like this horse. Look, it even has multicolor mane. <gasps> okay, I think I'm definitely going to have to start collecting up more horses, but not until we train Rose Stone. So I still want to hear a little bit longer what you guys think about the idea of doing those training days, which will also be kind of my meetup days when I can let you guys know, hey, we're going to start here. Here's the itinerary. I'm going to just like go through all of the races as quickly as we can, raise Rose Stone up higher on levels. I think that would be a lot of fun, but I still want to hear back on a few more uh, opinions of what you guys think about that and then once we get rose stone to level 15 i can start investing in new horses oh my gosh the spotty butt i love it what are you a speedy a phrygian sport horse i was combining sport and phrygian when i said speedian so the phrygian sport horse absolutely beautiful even if even if maybe i don't know if your skills are like the best who knows i love you anyway you're gorgeous and actually this is a little random but seeing these kinds of patterns on the horses actually i've been thinking lately my friends let me know what you think about this idea too even though it's not star stable related but equestrian boarding school with horse breeding sims 3 there you go let me know what you think about that i think it sounds pretty awesome but for now we are going to be focusing on star stables so we are here with our beautiful rose stone our adorable tiger lily we also have our gorgeous thistle down and we are getting ready to do some work here in fort pinta so we're going to be working with james today oh i guess i should go ahead uh should i do you know what i'm going to do a little bit of cleaning i know people get a little bit bored when i do the cleaning but i'm going to go ahead and help out here and it looks like you actually talked to James because he's in charge of this. Oh, that just surprises me every time. But we're going to go ahead and clean up everything over in this stable because I could use the extra money, but also the bur the, burk the perk, there we go, <laughs> to my reputation. But yeah, so I've been thinking it would be so much fun to be able to get horses involved in more of the things we do. We already have Horse Haven. I love Star Stable and I can't wait to do more things in Star Stable like those training things and being able to do our pony post again because I think that would be so fun but I would love to start breeding horses so that is a really great place or a really great thing to do in the sims 3 so let me know what you guys think about that it would almost be fun maybe not even as a full series but just to like have rose stone and see what rose stone's babies would look like like little one-offs where we could be like this is rose stone in sims 3 and then you guys could download her we could maybe have her breed with rye that horse she has kind of got a huge crush on over back in yarlikim and we could see what kind of babies they have together oh that would be fun all right but enough of this like immersion breaking chit chat let's go ahead and talk to james and collect up the money from all of the work we just did. Hey, didn't I finish mucking things out? Ah, oh, I forgot to finish mucking things out. Okay, let me go do the last little bit of mucking and then we will get on with the day. So we're here to speak with James. I did, I missed some poop. I didn't scoop all the poop. I have been a good pixelated zookeeper for so long. I can't believe I forgot to scoop that poop. All right, there we go. And we'll get that. There we go. Now we've cleaned up the whole area. But yes, so we're here to talk to James, not only to let him know that we're here to take care of Fort Pinta's stables today, but also because we need to pick up some printed t-shirts for Zed back over in Yarlikim. So we're going to pick those up, and then James has lots and lots of little quests that he has ready for us to do today. And I want to go by the mall and see what's available for sale at the mall. So there's that. And then James, you have so many things going on here. Oh my gosh. All right, so a sloppy dock worker. The ink is supposed to be one in one of the barrels on the pier below Fort Pinta. I've accidentally mixed them all together, so I can't tell which one contains your ink. But have a look around. I'm sure you'll find it. All right, so we'll look for our ink in just a second. And James's treasure hunt, that has to do with the butler, so we'll worry about that another time. And then I think these are all just like taking care of things around the area, so we don't need to worry about that. So I'll look for that, but then I think that the security guard has something for us to do as well. So let's go ahead and chit chat with him. Oh, and then let's look at the stalls and see if there's any any flowers for Rose Stone. We'll hmm. definitely do that. Point four, restore security around the base. What? Calm down? Why should I calm down? Sorry. You don't understand. I always wanted to be a soldier, not a security guard. But the doctor said my head was too big to be a soldier. None of the helmets would fit. So I daydream a bit every now and then and pretend I am an officer here in the fort. Well, I'm glad to know that he's not like, uh, he, he's not disillusioned with his situation. Is that okay with you? Really? Thank you. 
Make sure to tell me if you think I'm taking it too far sometimes. Please, let's keep this our little secret. I wouldn't want anyone else to know. They may think I'm crazy. You promise you won't tell anyone? No problem. I understand what it's like to just have to make the most with what dreams you have and what resources you have available. Man, now I feel really cool. I want to sit down with him and just like have a cup of coffee or something. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I promise I'll calm down a bit. Should, I should probably go get a dog that I can give orders to. Hmm, that isn't a bad idea. I'm going to think about it. <gasps> He's going to get a puppy? Yes, please. Um, lock for the pet store, chips for the animals. Wait, what? Point five. Whoops, sorry. Point five. If the fugitives, that is to say the kittens, puppies, and so on, run away again, we need to be able to identify them quicker. Order, um, I mean, ask the Silverglade vet nicely if she would come down here and ID chip the animals. Move out. Oh, that's really cool. We're totally going to do that today. Point six. Whoops. Point six. Sorry if I hurt your ears. Security is a big problem here at the base. Or should I say at the pet store. There, are not, there is not even a normal lock on the door. Requ requisition immediately a well-made and army pr a pa approved paddock from the supply officer Marcedin. You would probably call him Conrad the blacksmith. Move out. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff to do. All right, well, let's actually go and talk to James because I would like to go ahead and have the vet come and take care of the animals. Of course, I'm going to do that first. That's what I do, take care of the animals. And if we're going to have to go over to Silverglade anyway... Then we're going to go ahead and we've been meaning to go find the person who calls themselves Butler01 on the internet. So I'm pretty sure that's the Butler at Silverglade. So we'll go ahead and do that. So let's go look for the ink first. And then we'll go down and see if anything's going on on the beach. And then we will pop over to Silverglade to speak with the vet. We'll pop over to Silverglade Manor to speak with the butler. And we'll pop over to Moreland to speak with uh, Conrad, the blacksmith. So a lot going on. Okay, the ink is not in there. Okay, so we'll search through all these barrels. Hopefully we won't find any contraband, like, horse... I don't know, what would you... What would contraband horse, like, um... Horseshoes, maybe? All right, we found it. Wonderful. Okay, and we'll turn around. And I know we do need to think about sometime in the near future uh, running into the pony. So there's pony quests that we need to do over here too, but there's just always gonna be so much for us to do. I love it. All right, there we go. Come on over here. The tourists are still visiting. Nice to see them. James, how are you doing? All right, and sloppy talk worker. You finally found the ink. Excellent. I'm sorry for the trouble. I'll keep better track of the barrels next time. Wow, he actually apologized. Didn't expect that. There you go. Everything's ready. Thank you for some coming so quickly. It would have been boring to wait here all day, but that didn't happen. Return to Daisy and give her the ink. I think she needs it as quickly as possible. So long. All right, so we'll handle that at some point in the near future. Did I just get an item? Oh, I got the ink. I was like, hey, did James just throw in something free for me? No, it's James. I should be more realistic about those things. All right, so we've got a few places to dash off to to make sure everything is nice and tidy and safe. So we're going to go ahead and let's pop over to Moreland first because that's so close by. So we'll go by Moreland. I'm kind of tempted. We're going to go on a race. Okay, we'll go by Moreland and then we'll go on a race really, really quickly because I think it would make sense to take Rosestone around because the Moreland race is so, so short. It doesn't take very long to do whatsoever. So, all right. Oh gosh, it's been so long since we've been here. Oh, this is fun being able just to zip around the whole place so quickly. Tan, Tan, I want to go around the racetrack. Yeah, just a little racetrack really quickly. You can actually really get a huge boost very, very fast. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe, Rosestone, maybe like the other day. Oh, I forgot to check my mail again. Oh no, I hope I didn't lose it. But Oh, maybe like when we got first place in the race, I guess if you go on the really obscure races and have like the personal best for the day, then you get uh, you get prizes. So I forgot to clear my mail, so I doubt I've gotten the thing for that, but I can check on it. But we might start doing that more often because I had no idea that was a thing. And now that school's back, you can see nobody is ever on during the day, so... <laughs> Even even these kinds of days, which sort of surprises me, but I might be able to have Rosestone be the winner. Go Rosestone! Oh, we missed our best time by just the tiniest smidge. Oh, all right. So, and we aren't the best here this day, like today, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Well done. Rosestone gained a few skill points and let's go talk to, pardon me, Charlotte. And let's go talk to Conrad to make sure that we can get an order in with our blacksmith friend. All right, so we'll wiggle this way. And then over here, okay. 
And then Conrad's going to be hiding right over this spot. So we should be able to chit chat with him. Look at how pretty it is over here. Oh, I'm going to be a little sad when winter hits and everything's going to be under snow for so long. Wait, come back? Ah. Oh. So I'll have to come back. I'll have to come back another day. But at least we got that part of it done. So he's making a lock so the animals don't run away. So that's a good thing. All right. And then we'll wiggle this way. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, Rustin! Sorry, Rustin! There was a fence. I didn't know there was a fence. And then suddenly there was a fence. And now... Okay, we're not going to be stuck, Rustin. Oh, thank goodness. We didn't get stuck. <laughs> I was a little worried for a second there. I would have felt a bit bad. All right. Now we're going to move this way. Okay. And we'll take off. We'll go ahead and now we're going to go to Silver Glade. So Silver Glade Equestrian Center. No, I just want to go. Why can't I just go straight to? Okay, it would be Steve's farm. It would be Steve's farm. I got mixed up again. All right, so we're going to go over to Steve's farm. Man, it's been so long since we've been over here. This is really fun. And it's really fun because we're actually on a quest for Yarlahim all the way over here. So it really makes you feel like everything is very connected. In fact, we could even do a little race at Steve's farm real quick too. I know that seems to drag things out a bit, but it's good for Rose Stone's sake. All right, Steve, how you doing? Let's go ahead and, oh my gosh, I forgot how it gives like a 250 boost to Rose Stone for racing here. So we'll definitely tackle this race. Go Rose Stone, go! Go, Roaster! I'm so... Come on, you've got this! You've got this! I wonder if I'm wearing my best riding gear. I think I am. Go, Roaster! All right. And then over here. We're going to race this way. Roaster, I'm sorry! I have... Mom has messed up. Mom has messed it up. Normally, you do this race so well and we're so fast. <laughs> there we go. But you know, you guys, I'm actually finding, because as you know, I've been sticking much stricter to the schedule for making all of our adventures and all of the videos over the last month. And it's been a very big challenge because it is about six to seven or more videos a day, which represents about uh, some days up to 18 hours of work. But I'm getting faster at it. I'm getting better at it. I'm getting more engaged at it. I'm able to dive into our adventures and embrace with such a excited passion being here in Star Stable or breeding our horses in Horse Haven or running around in zoo crafting or coming up with all of our different adventures, all of the different role play bits and all of our different series. I'm getting so much better at it because I'm showing up every day and making myself do the work. And I know that seems silly to talk about now, but that's how I feel about the races. You show up every day, you try out the races, and then things might get things might get pretty good. All right, there we go. Let's come over here. Hello, Steve. There you go. And look at that huge boost that Rose Stone just got. So that's fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to the vet and make sure that the vet is going to come and take care of the animals over in Fort Pinta. That is very important in my opinion. Derek wants our attention, but I don't know if we'll be able to have time for Derek. The vet, the vet, the vet. All right, there she is. Oh, there. Hello there, Saga. And then apparently tomorrow, animals have been marked. Chip the animals in the pet store? That's a good idea, but I don't think I have time right now. I will be going to Fort Pinta tomorrow, so come back and see me then. All right, so next time we'll have to swing by and see what they have to say about chipping the animals. And now we're going to need to go all the way out to Silverglade, which for some reason is not connected to the trailers. I could have sworn it was, but it wasn't to the one at, at Moreland. So, oh well, we'll just enjoy the little ride out there. And we're going to go talk to the butler and see what he has to say about that treasure piece. It's been a long time in coming. We really have neglected to speak with him for quite a while. I just noticed those white columns, by the way. Did I have never noticed those before. The white columns with the, the like cobblestone fencing there. Wow, that's pretty. That's really, really super duper fancy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get moving. Up you go, Rose Stone. Up you go. And we'll go and interview the butler about this piece that he's supposedly selling on the internet. And then once we get that done, Rose Stone, we will head back over to Fort Pinta and we will ride to deliver the ink. Because I think we will have completed quite a few things then. All right, there's the butler, Godfrey. Butler 01. Yes, that's me. How did you know? How do you think I knew, sir? 
I see, Saga. You can absolutely have my part of the map, but then I want my share of the treasure. We have plans to scan in all the books in the library to make them available for everyone in the world to enjoy. Unfortunately, we haven't had the money to get it done. So this treasure would really give us exactly what we need. Oh, that's actually really cool. So they must have like a huge personal library and he wants to like digitize it for the entire world. That's really neat, actually. I fully support spending treasure money on that. Take my piece of the map and write over to James. Let him know that I want my share of the treasure as part of the deal. All right, well, that was unexpectedly awesome. So a digital library, that's what they want to do here. Cool, all right. And then I do want to work here in Silverglade at some point, but for today, because I, I kind of wanted to go to the mall too, but I don't know if we'll be able to get that done. Let's go ahead and go back over to Fort Pinta. And then I'm going to look over at these stalls and see if there are any flower bits available. Since that is something that we wanted to do with Rose Stone is collect up all the different flowers to put in your hair. Though honestly, sunflowers are perfect for autumn. Alright, so that's not for her. That's not for her. Okay, those are, those are little decorations. <gasps> I see flowers! There are flowers! So there's so many different flowers. Tail ribbons. Aww, there are a ton of different flowers we can get for her, but they all cost star coins. So now I remember why we don't always get the flowers. So all of these cost star coins to get. So, hmm. Rose stone, I think we're okay with leaving just the sunflowers in right now, but we might do blue flowers and white flowers for winter. So maybe I'll, I'll shift my idea up. There, I mean, it's really fun to be able to buy a bunch of flowers for your horse but it makes more sense to buy them when like it doesn't cost star coins right away all right we've got we've got other things to spend our star coins on is kind of what i'm saying here is this is this where you can go oh this is the star raider shop for fort pinta i don't know if i've looked at this stuff recently so cowboy set blankets um let's see what's this Oh my gosh, summer shorts. Summer shorts and summer tops here. I didn't know those were even here. Fort Pinta blanket, Fort Pinta saddle. The cowboy saddle actually looks really darn cool, but we have a better saddle. And then let's see, Fort Pinta bridle. So I think I actually really like our current gear. Gosh darn, I was thinking we would go shopping and spend all sorts of money and go get new things, but oh, sorry James. But actually I'm having a pretty good time. Oh, come on, Saga. Did you promise to give away a share of the treasure to the butler? Don't you know how to negotiate? This is how it's done. You make a deal with the butler so you can split your share with him. Uh, this is how it's done. Okay, let's see. I've been surfing on your Wikipedia while you were gone, Saga. The map belonged to the famous American treasure hunter Mississippi Jones. He died a long time ago, but he was an adventurer who came to Yorvik a generation ago. His heirs couldn't decide on how to split the treasure, so they tore the map into four pieces and kept a piece each. I was lucky to find a lead on his daughter, California Jones. Her grave is somewhere nearby, but I'm not exactly sure where. Hey, isn't there somebody called Hawaii Jones? Oh my gosh, there is somebody called Hawaii Jones, and you can be like archaeology stuff for her. <gasps> Oh my goodness! It only says she was buried with a view of Fort Pinta, the town she loves so much. Oh my gosh, so we need to find the grave of California Jones somewhere with a great view of Fort Pinta. What? The other pop part of the map, what? Hang on. Okay, um, somewhere, great view of Fort Pinta, buried somewhere. Uh, isn't there a graveyard nearby? Like, there should be a graveyard nearby. I need to find someone's grave. <laughs> That's so surreal. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's a good graveyard right over here. So let's right over there. And then maybe we can find a lead. I'm pretty sure that there is somebody named Hawaii Jones. I remembered because I'm Hawaiian. And so when she came up in the Star Stable News as someone who had new quest for doing new archeological uh, archeological digs and stuff like that, I got super excited. So let's see. All right, let's ride past over here because I mean you should be able to see Fort Pinta from this graveyard and There's a little abbey over here that we've dug around in before. I Love how each area continually has like new discoveries you can find <gasps> look right here. Oh my gosh. Oh My goodness Searching in a graveyard? I did not- that's what I love about this! You have no idea where each day's adventures are going to actually bring you. So let's see what it says right here. This must be the grave of California Jones. 
A bouquet of dandelions. Did I know someone who... Don't I know someone who likes dandelions? Maybe that person can help me find the next piece of the map. I guess I should bring the bouquet of dandelions. Okay. Do I know someone who likes dandelions? Um... Daisy? No! Wait. Do I know someone who likes dandelions? It's been so long! I think I know someone who likes dandelions. I have, I have the dandelions with me. Who would have left this on the grave? I like dandelions. But maybe it's Miss Farnsworth? Maybe? I'm not sure. Oh man. Who likes dandelions? Moreland Stables maybe? This is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun way to have to like wiggle my way down the mystery. I, I think Miss Farnsworth likes dandelions because I gathered up a bunch for her once. Did that happen? Ah, oh, I love the mystery of it all. I love how I have to really start digging through what I know about everybody and try to think of some way to be able to make them super happy. Huh. So, I mean, okay, we're going to ride over to Moreland just really, 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 really quickly and see if we can, like, if that is what I'm thinking about. Or... If there's anybody at the stables, because if someone was going to leave a grave, wouldn't it, like something on a grave, wouldn't it be someone who had been a friend? And so if a older person passed away, then maybe I should speak with the older people. So either their, their descendants or the older people. So let's see if Miss Farnsworth likes the, the dandelions. I may be totally off on this. <gasps> dun, 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 dun! Holdsworth, not Farnsworth. Sorry about that. Hello, Saga. Those are some nice dandelions. Yes, California Jones was my grandmother. She loved dandelions, so I put a bouquet of them on her grave every year. An old part of the map? I think I might have it in a box somewhere. <gasps> I'm so proud of myself right now! I can't believe I memorized that! Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've seen Miss Holdsworth, so I'm very, very proud right now. And she still has her little bee box. I love how the world changes. I just feel like I do something important when that happens. Ah, oh, lessons for zoo crafting, that's for sure. Wow. All right. Sure, you can have my part of the map, but of course you need to share the treasure you find with me. My share will be given to the Yorvik home for orphaned foals. All those poor little foals and no mothers. <gasps> the home for orphaned foals? Again, that is something that I would definitely consider building either in zoo crafting or in our like Sims 3 horse series I want to do because that sounds perfect. Here's my part of the map. Make sure James knows about the deal. Oh, he's going to be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Getting rid of like my, my treasure. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so proud that I realized that Miss Morland or Miss Holdsworth was um, Miss Moreland. Oh gosh, that would be a bit of a twist if she suddenly caught the eye of a certain Moreland fellow. But yeah, I'm so proud of myself for like realizing that was where all of the dots connected up. So let's ride back over. Hey, 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 rest on. Ride back over to Fort Pinta. This is just so much faster. It's so worth the shillings just to be able to take the horse trailer from place to place. And we will turn this into James. And then I guess I need to take the ferry over and wrap up the ink part of things. But maybe I want to do a treasure hunt. It's so hard to decide. I love how much there is to do. All right, so let's go and talk to James. Ride like the wind, my beautiful rose stone. All right, James. And then think of the poor little foals. What are you thinking, Saga? Now Miss Holdsworth is in on the treasure too? This, that's also coming out of your share. If you keep doing this, there won't be anything left for you at all. All right, and so now we're done with him. He's got to think about his treasure maps. But we accomplished quite a lot today, so I'm really happy. We've got things done for the security guard. We sat down and had a nice cup of coffee with him, and we were really able to talk about like how he, he really has his dreams and what he likes to do in the world. All right, let's go ahead. And which one do I need to go to if I want to ride? Let's see, is this the one to Yarlaheem? Because I think they go to different spots. So if I wanted to go to Yarlaheem, um, 
Okay, so yeah, this is the ferry I want to be at if I want to go back to Yarlaheem. So I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to take the ferry back. We will turn in the ink and wrap up that part of the quest. And then we might have to come back to Fort Pinta next time. So that we'll be able to kind of do some more work here. Taking care of the animals, looking for like hidden treasure, and being able to continue on quest over here. Or we might end up on Paddock Island because I would really love to see what's going on with that little girl's birthday. Oh my goodness. And there's just so much, so much going on. So I'll see you guys in Yarlheim in just a second. Ah, all right, welcome to Yarlheim. I love those ferry rides. They're actually super relaxing. I just sort of sat back and daydreamed for a little bit and just the music is so nice. And now we are back here to Daisy. And I really feel like the entire world is more connected being able to take the ferry like that too. It's really nice. All right, Daisy. Oh, nice. You got the ink. Now I can finally start coloring the teas. I can safely say they're going to be super awesome. It'll take some time. The teas need to dry as well. Have patience, girl. Come back tomorrow and they'll be done and dry. I'll get to work straight away. Bye for now. Peace. All right. So now we have like eight bazillion timed events. So we have done so much work for today and we will have so much work for tomorrow or whatever day we come back. And I cannot wait to see you guys next time. So we've got so much going on. Is that another kitty on a bench? Oh, that's so cute. We've got so much going on in the world. I cannot wait to see where our adventures are going to be taking us because we've got like timed events pinging all over the place. We have work on Paddock Island. We have things to help Philippe and Gavin and and Molly out with and I think we're gonna have a great time so I'll see you guys next time bye bye